It looked like a clothing store in Vacaville. Federal drug agents say inside they were selling cocaine and marijuana to local high school students. This shopping center used to be packed with kids when school would get out. New tonight, that case is now in the hands of federal prosecutors. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrienne Moore. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at the federal courthouse for us tonight with details in the indictment just released today. Steve? And this is a copy of that indictment. It says that the, the clothes in that store rarely sold. Instead, the owner made his money by selling drugs. School crossing signs are posted at the intersection where federal prosecutors allege a retail store owner targeted Vacaville's Will C. Wood High School students for drug sales. Vacaville police took this photo of arrested business owner Maurice Jefferson and a photo of his alleged cocaine and marijuana stash, as well as a firearm, all now evidence in a federal indictment against him. The store, named Shredder's Federation, produced this online advertisement five years ago. But investigators say one close look inside, and it was clear the store's clothing wasn't what people were buying. Court documents read, the claim Jefferson sells twelve to $13,000 at Shredder's Federation each month is dubious. Top layers of clothing stacked in the men's store had dust on them, as did the shelves. Little merchandise appeared to move. Neighboring business owner Chuck Donaldson has been at this Vacaville strip mall location for a decade. Honest to God, I, I never saw anybody walk in or out of that store. I never paid attention to that store. Vacaville police first arrested Jefferson a year ago after investigating an anonymous tip he was using the location to launder money. Now the feds want to prosecute. If you are so unfortunate as to be convicted, the sentences can be drastically different. There can be a gigantic disparity between the, the federal sentence that you get from conviction for something like this and the state sentence you would get. An alleged drug dealer setting up shop by a local school. Now he's facing the full force of federal law. And if convicted under federal law, Jefferson faces up to 20 years in prison and a $60 million fine. Some pretty damaging stuff. All right, Steve Large reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.